as of late, the guys I've been talking to, the guys I know, there's more benefit to not owning your own facility uh, versus owning it right now. So if you're renting, wait, the way Mark Kennebrew frames it is very well. Renting time somewhere like a local rec, a church, a private gym, or renting space where you are actually leasing a property for five years, three years, and you're renting that space to where you can use it at any time that you want to. I think the majority of the trainers that we work with at Hoops Institute definitely are renting time. And renting time is beneficial because you can be nimble, you can be fluid, you can be flexible. If you don't need 16 hours a week, then you don't have to pay for 16 hours a week. You can minimize that to four, to three, to two. So what I'm saying is if you've got two trainees or you do only do private training, you got one or five trainees, then maybe you only need five hours for the week instead of renting seven, eight, nine, 10 hours. And it makes sense to, to really be tight and strict about the operating capacity that you have for November until February. My suggestion is minimize it as much as possible so that you can fill up every single slot that you have available for your, your training time. So minimize those expenses, mainly the gym rental, because that usually is the biggest expense versus or other than potentially just paying yourself to, to be there.